Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget check-in video. Today we are going to check in with our paycheck budget for the 26th of July through the 8th of August. I'm also going to set up the next paycheck budget which is uh, today, the day you guys are watching this, the 9th of August. August. So we're going to do that and we need to stuff cash envelopes as well. Andrew went to the bank and got some cash out. The first thing I'm going to do is track income. So our salaries did come in and then we have miscellaneous income which is my husband's um, work. So we have some tip money here to count and then also his paycheck. So um, his paycheck was four eighty seventy five, and then he did take a hundred dollars from his tips envelope. He's going to be starting the PGA program pretty soon, and in order to get into the program, you have to do certain things to qualify. One of those things is a performance test, which he's going to take in November. He has to go to a golf course and play two rounds of golf and have a like certain score. I'm not sure what it is, but he had to register for that. So he just took that money from his tips here. So the tip money that is left over is 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73. So we have 73 left over in tips. So I'm just going to make a little note of that here. And some of his tips are electronic too, which gets factored into that, just so you guys know too. But some is still cash. So, okay, so we have 480.75 plus 73. So that's a total for miscellaneous income, hopefully you guys can see that, of 553.75. So I'm gonna come in here and track that. So 553.75. Seventy-five. So I'm going to add that to the total over here since everything was as planned other than the miscellaneous income, which is typically the case. So I'm going to add that to $3,628.23. And that is a total of $4,181.98. And then we're not able to calculate this quite yet. Um, I am kind of tempted though just to, it's going to be 20406. So um, that's the actual bill, but I haven't seen APS come out of my account yet. Let me just ch double check real quick. Today is the 7th, so it was due yesterday. It usually takes a day or two to pop up in our account, but yeah, I'm still not seeing it. So it hasn't been paid, but I'm just going to put this amount over here and I won't check it off because I mean, that's the specific bill amount. So I doubt it. Anything's going to change there. So our total expenses here, total bills is $788.95 plus $127.95 plus $250.06 plus 8905, 20406, and then 9643. So a total, um, almost right on the nose, $1,556.50. So we were five cents over. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract that from the four thousand one hundred eighty one dollars and ninety eight cents and then that gives us a total of two thousand six hundred twenty five dollars and forty eight cents for the remaining amount down here we did not spend anything on gas it is Wednesday I don't anticipate that we're going to be filling up before um, Friday like when our next paycheck starts so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again if anything changes we would just probably take honestly the gas out of the next paycheck budget so $60 under which is great and that means that our total amount was $1,040 
So we can take that amount and subtract it from the $2,625.48. And that gives us a total of $1,585.48. And then for sinking funds, I put all of the planned amounts in there. So we can then subtract that. And that gives a total of $860. 48 remaining and then what I'll do is I will just do this for the slush amount slush fund is just kind of a catch-all type of deal so 246 78 and this is going to give us our rollover amount so now I'm going to do 246 78 and that gives us a rollover amount of 613 70. Okay, so I plugged all of those numbers over here so you can see the summary. So we have our um, income was 553.75 more than expected and then bills is there, expenses, sinking funds, debt, savings, and then our total remaining. So this amount is gonna be our rollover for the next paycheck budget. I've explained this um, a few times now, but we did pause putting a ton extra to our van that we're currently working on paying off. We are still putting a little extra to it. We're putting more than the minimum payment, but there are other things that we need to save for. So we did pause that temporarily, and then we're hoping by the start of 2025, we're able to start aggressively paying that down again. So that is how this paycheck budget ended up. Okay, so I plugged that rollover amount into the next paycheck budget here. I did start setting this up a bit off camera um, just to save a little bit of time. I'm short on time today, so I just went ahead and plugged in some numbers, but I wanted to calculate the rollover amount with you and then we'll calculate everything else based on that rollover amount. So let's go ahead and figure out our estimate income. So we have $1,399.58 plus $1,745.17 plus the rollover of $613.70. So that gives us an estimate um, income here of $3,000. $758.45. And then for bills, we're gonna have our September mortgage. So each paycheck, we set aside half of next month's mortgage. So by the end of the month, we are all set to go. We have Southwest Gas due on the 14th for $28. Geico Auto, which is our auto insurance, is due on the 14th for $155.39. State Farm is my husband's life insurance. That's due on the 15th, and that is $38.70. And then we have Disney Plus due on the 19th, and that is $15.18. And then finally, CenturyLink is due on the 20th, and that is $65. This paycheck budget um, period runs from the 9th to the 22nd, just so you know. So our total for bills, for estimate bills, is $1,091.22. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that from the estimate income. That gives us $2,667.23 remaining. And then we come down to expenses down here. So we took out cash and everything for groceries, so I can put that in the actual amount. We do keep a buffer in our checking account that allows us to do this, by the way. So, um, you know, we don't have to wait till the money actually comes in from the paychecks. We are able to take out the cash a little early, which is kind of nice. So, anyway, so I can jot that down that we paid for all of that. I also did do the Chime transfers already. Both my husband and I have a Chime checking account and card that we use just for personal spending money. So um, that is that. The only thing is gas here that has not come out yet. But the total there is $860, so I can subtract that. And that gives a total remaining of $1,807.23.
And then we're gonna jump over to sinking funds here. So some of these we are funding pretty aggressively. I will share an update on our sinking funds balances here in just a minute. But we're gonna put $50 to the car. Andrew is working on getting a tire. He's just shopping around for tires and stuff to get the best price. The dealership was by far the most expensive and now um, we're talking to both Costco and Discount Tire and seeing what options they have available. But we're hoping to get that appointment scheduled um, sometime very soon. We would ideally like to get the tires replaced before we go camping for sure, but ideally before we even go up north this upcoming weekend. And then for clothing, for Andrew and I, we each got $25 added to our funds, $75 to festivities, which is Christmas, birthday parties, Halloween, just all those fun things. And then haircuts is 25, house we're putting 50, Maddie and Julia 50, Mando and Cara 50, Medical, I'm putting 350 in that fund because I do have a doctor's appointment um, later this month and it is cash pay technically. We don't have actual health insurance. We have a cost share program that we're part of. It's called Christian Healthcare Ministries. So if we ever experience um, an incident that ends up being over a thousand dollars, they would pay for it. But we basically are cash pay other than that. So. I wanna make sure I put a good chunk in there because I have no idea how much that's gonna be. It's just an annual checkup, but we'll see. School is 25 and then subscriptions. Ooh, subscriptions. I don't know why I put 50. We do not need 50 in subscriptions. Um, what do I normally put in subscriptions? Let me look. $10. I wonder why I put that much. <laughs> So that's gonna be just $10, because we don't really need anything like that anytime soon. So that's gonna bump this down to that $40 less. Okay, so subscriptions, that is Amazon, um, any apps that we're using, things like that. I like to use a workout app called FitBod to design my like strength training workouts, things like that. So. Um, and then 500 is going into vacations. We are starting to aggressively save because we are planning a big trip in December that is going to be kind of a pricey trip. Um, it's gonna be a big surprise thing for my daughter's 10th birthday, double digits, very crazy. So we wanted to get more aggressive with that. Plus we have camping coming up. And then we also have this smaller trip that we're taking here this weekend. So I just wanted to really start aggressively getting that saved. And I think next pay period, we're not gonna be able to put very much at all into our sinking funds. So it's kind of like a more expensive pay period. That's when, you know, our big car payment is due and just a lot of big bills are due during that time. A lot of bills in general are due during like the very last of the month and the very beginning of the next month. So um, anyways, that's what that is looking like. So that leaves us with a total of $1,235, so I'm gonna subtract that. And then we have 572.23 remaining, and that is gonna go to our slush fund here. So that's nice, that's a good chunk of change going into the slush fund. And the reason we're doing the slush fund too is just to build up our savings and um, just, you know, kind of have extra cushion there. Okay, so. so I plugged those totals over here in the summary. So if you take income, subtract bills, subtract expenses, subtract sinking funds, debt, savings, that gives us zero dollars remaining. And then the way that we do it is anything that my husband earns just goes into the next pay period. So that ends up just being a rollover amount. But I'm pretty excited that we're able to um, aggressively save to vacations here and then also that we have a good amount left over for the slush fund. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, let me set aside this tip money so it doesn't end up getting mixed up with things. <laughs> we're going to stuff our cash envelopes. So household, I can tell you a lot of this <laughs> is gone, unfortunately. I've mentioned before, but we were hoping to save for a Vitamix. It's, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. We might just need to gift that to each other for like Christmas or something, honestly. But I feel like with household, it's like you don't need 
things here and there. It's like all of a sudden you run out of everything, right? So I needed to get the girls toothpaste, mouthwash, floss picks, Q-tips, um, detangle spray. They needed new wet brushes. And then we needed some household cleaners and all of that. So we ran out of so many different things all at the same time. So anyways, we have $14 remaining in household and then we're gonna add another 100. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So that gives us 114 in household now, and that's for things like shampoo, conditioner, all the things I mentioned earlier. So, um, yep, so that is household. Not putting anything into piano for this pay period. That'll be next pay period, but we did pay for all of August's lessons already, so this is empty. Entertainment is empty, and we are going to put $100 in there. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Probably gonna end up using most of this for our weekend up north. We did get a lot of different activities and things like that, and then we'll use groceries to get food, but um, like grocery money to get food, but yeah. So if we eat out or something though while we're up there, then that's what this will be used for. So we'll see how much we're able to do with that. So $100 for entertainment. And then for groceries, we have some left over in here. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 91. And then we're gonna add another 500. So that's 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So we have five. 91 in groceries now. We are gonna go grocery shopping once we're up north, so we'll use um, cash from this envelope for that. We're not planning on getting anything crazy, just some snacks and, you know, just random things. So, um, so yeah, but I'm super excited. We're going with my best friend and her son, and it's gonna be really fun um, and everything. So, cash envelopes now are all set to go. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is share our sinking funds and what is going on here. So uh, car maintenance, I mentioned earlier, we're going to need to get new tires. So we will have plenty in there to do that, thankfully, but the majority of this will be gone <laughs> after we get tires. They are really expensive. So then um, for clothing for Andrew, he did go to Costco and he got some socks. And then for me, I got some house shoes from Amazon. I just wanted some like more comfortable slippers that had better support to wear around the house. My left foot is still giving me issues and I feel like just wearing better house shoes around the house will make a difference. So I did get that. And then for festivities, we currently have 41760. And then on Friday, I will add, you know, all the sinking funds over and everything like that. So that'll change the balance. I'll do a check-in next week with updated balances so you guys can see. And then for haircuts, that's at 50 currently. Andrew did mention going to the barber uh, potentially, I think tomorrow, to get a haircut. So um, we'll use the haircut sinking fund for that. House maintenance, we did get a bunch of stuff to organize our bathrooms. Now we have three <laughs> bathrooms in our house, but I wanted to get things like loofah hooks and some bins and stuff like that just to kind of keep things contained because it's been crazy. And I've talked about this before, but we decluttered the house like crazy. And now that everything is decluttered, I wanna keep everything organized as well. And that does take some investment in different organization systems and bins and things like that. So anyways, that ended up being 183.21, so we did that. And then for Maddie and Julia, we did sign Julia up for T-Ball. Her little friend Emmerich um, across the street is going to be doing T-Ball as well. And then his dad is going to be an assistant coach. So it's really fun. Um, they're like little besties and they're it's just super cute. So anyways, it, we were torn between T-Ball and soccer, but we ended up going with T-Ball just so she could play with Emmerich. And that's what she wanted to do too. So um, yeah, so anyways, we signed her up for that and then we have $84.17 remaining there, so not very much. I do want to kind of stock this up because I think we're going to have to go get a few things for the fall season. We're in Arizona, so it doesn't get crazy cold here by any means, but I know Julia is going to need um, some jeans. I don't think she has like 
jeans from her older sister, but they're too big. She's like in between sizes. And then Maddie may need some like more long sleeve shirts and stuff. I was kind of taking a look at their clothes. So we're gonna need to do some clothes shopping for that. So I'm hoping to kind of beef this up a little bit over the next few months. It doesn't honestly get cold in Arizona until like, and cold is like, 60 degrees. I know that probably sounds crazy to some of you, but it really doesn't cool off much until November ish. So we have time, which is good. And then for Mando and Cara, we have 28890 in their account. So they are doing good there. And then for medical expenses, we have 47542. Next Thursday, when we get back from our trip, Andrew is going to go to the dentist to get the other half of his mouth done. They only did half one time and then half the next time because I think it's just too much, honestly. Andrew did say it was quite painful, so I think that's why they split it up, but that's going to be happening. And then, like I said, I have a doctor's appointment later this month. And then the girls, too, are due for checkups and stuff. So, yeah, medical, we need to kind of beef up for sure. And then for school, I did get a couple supplies. We're currently negative in that account, but by adding, you know, this next little bit on Friday, we'll be back in the positive. So we're negative 1019. I just needed some markers and random things like that. And then subscriptions, we currently have $20. I don't think our subscriptions are due until next February and May. So we're good to go there. And then vacation, I got a bunch of crafts and activities for the kids. So our trip up north is actually more of a field trip. We are currently studying space for science. So we're going to an observatory, which is really fun. So I got some space related crafts like this space foil kit that looked really cool. And then um, some glow in the dark like paint and different things to make to uh, paint rocks like river rocks and stuff like that. And then we also got some bug catchers because we figured we're staying at like a cabin in the woods. So it'd be really fun to have the kids go catch some bugs. So it's this little um, like kit by National Geographic to observe bugs and stuff. So we just got some activities for the kids to do while we're there. And then the observatory tickets themselves were $75. So I did take that out of vacations, even though technically it's school related, it's still in my mind, like a vacation because we're going up there for a few days the observatory is just part of it but a lot of it is also just wanting to get out of the heat and go up north and be in nature and all of that it's tough in the summer season here in Arizona because you're mainly stuck inside it's just too hot to go out and do anything but yeah that is what our sinking funds are currently looking like that is the next paycheck budget the close out of the current budget <laughs> all the things we did lots today so anyways i hope you enjoyed watching today's budget video if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to catch all of my future videos i post videos every wednesday friday and saturday Tomorrow's video will be a digital plan with me, so that will be going live at 8 a.m., and I'll be online chatting with you guys then. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that, but that is it for this one. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye.